Something about him shakes me The way that he always reads my mind The way he tries to hide his innocence The way he sees right through my reticence I think you look like you've never heard, heard anyone sing before What, I what is wrong with you tonight? I could choose to make this end Always had my own plans. Everything was clear. He wasn't in the picture. I didn't want him too near. Funny how a little look can turn you upside down. And one single kiss can turn you up. Speaks my name The way you so love such a gentle touch Like a quiet morning The voice is like an angel's Something about him shakes me You all right, Mr. Crane? Mr. Crane? Yeah, I'm yeah, fine I just feel like a thousand Roman candles went off in my heart That's... permission to use it. Oh, that's not a tape, lady. That's the singer on stage. She's great, isn't she? This is not happening. Oh, yes, it is, Eve. History is repeating itself. And you have a front row seat. Sheridan? Sheridan, you out here? Oh, man. I don't know where she could be. I just hope nothing's happened to her. Well, don't even go there, man. She's probably just back at Beth's house, like Luis said. Well, it would be a safe place for her with that scum on the loose trying to kill her. Let's just hope Luis is right. I just want to find her. Look, the sooner the better. I mean, she's my wife. She's having my baby. If anything happens to her, I will kill her. I will kill whoever tries to hurt her. You know, if whoever's out to hurt Sheridan finds her before we do, she could be in real danger. That would be terrible. <gasps> you wicked little hypocrite. Don't you? Whoever this nut job is hurts Sheridan. I'm going to track them, and whoever's associated with them, I'm going to wring their neck with my bare hands. And what big hands they are. Ruff. You. You had better just hope and pray that Charlie doesn't get to Sheridan before Louise does. Because if that whack job finds her and kills her, Louise, <laughs> he's not going to marry you. He's going to bury you. Don't blow me down. This was obviously meant to be. Beth would understand why I had to kill Sheridan tonight. This is just too delicious an opportunity to ignore. What am I going to do? How am I going to sort through my life without hurting innocent people? Please, God, help me. so dead and you deserve it for what you did to my Beth
yourself the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew could take me high as breathing Said our last goodbye Left me shattered all inside Didn't have any tears left to hide Thought my heart would never mend All the king's horses and all his men Damn you, Liz Don't try and make my life a living hell as one You an innocent girl Your own needs to hurt me It's just so incredibly cruel. Eva, I did not bring Whitney here tonight to hurt you. I brought her here to help her. Right, Liz, you're just a regular mother Hale. Whitney told me how things were left with Chad tonight. And in talking about his future in music, she admitted that she loves to sing, but that you never let her. Clear she was too anxious to get to sleep tonight, so I brought her here to stretch her wings, try to do what she wanted to do with her life. And singing is apparently it. After all that we've been through, you still feel so brand new, but it's something that I need. I'm sorry if you think I brought her here to expose her to some part of your sordid past, but I didn't. You had no right. You had no right at all. Get it, arrest, sis. You're just jealous. Because once again, Whitney chose me to confide her personal, private feelings to. Just when I thought I... I had it all together again. That stopped Whitney from going to Los Angeles with Chad. But now this. Piece of my heart. I couldn't put my life together again. No. I didn't want us to be just friends. Then you gave it me back. That last part of me. She's wonderful. The fruit doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? Shut up. How is your singing voice these days, Eve? After all the booze and pills, is it still as smooth as it used to be? Whitney doesn't belong in a place like this. Why not? The old blue note in Boston was good enough for her mommy. You know, just because you can't sing anymore doesn't mean that Whitney shouldn't. Listen to her. Really listen to her, Eve. Whitney has a beautiful voice. A voice that she should share with the world. I'm sure she'll handle her singing career better than you did. Please stop talking like this. Why? If Whitney can sing songs and not snort cocaine, why shouldn't she? Never even dreamed that Whitney could sing like this. I didn't even know she wanted to. So instead of fulfilling TC's dream that she become a tennis pro, why don't you let her fulfill your dreams and become a singer? Don't deny 
Whitney a future that she obviously wants and so clearly deserves. Just wish I knew where Sheridan went. Between not telling Antonio we're in love, not knowing whether her baby is mine or his, and having someone out to kill her, it's more than she can handle. The hell, it's more than anyone can handle. Especially a gentle, loving soul like Sheridan. Could you excuse us for just a sec? Yes. Could you dare me and Charlie gets to Sheridan before Louise does? No, shut up. That's not gonna happen. You heard me talking to Charlie, and I told her not to kill Sharon. They told King Kong not to let the flash bulbs spook him. Look what happened. Very funny. But I am dead serious here. You honestly think that, that that lumbering lunatic is gonna listen to you? She goes around pulling heads off blondie dolls. But Charlie likes me, Mother. Hey, that's another thing. No, look. Charlie will listen to me, okay? She's not gonna kill. Please, God, help me to deal with this dilemma that I'm in. Married to one man, in love with another. Please show me the way to face my problems head on. It's so crazy, but I could have sworn you were trying to kill me just now. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. I've just had a lot of odd things happen to me lately. I guess I'm, I'm just on the edge and jumpy all the time. You, you look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Yeah. yeah I've definitely seen you in the newspapers. You're a crane, right? You're Sheridan Crane. Well, I was. Now I'm Sheridan Lopez Fitzgerald. Yeah, that's so. So, uh, Sheridan, at least call. Just tell me where you are. You are nuts, naive, and asking to be nailed for trusting Charlie. And if your new best friend does kill Sharon, Louise is gonna hunt her down, find out you're in cahoots, and then make you pay for the rest of your life. Anna, I figured out a way to win Louise back and get rid of Sheridan without having it traced back oh, to me. Fuck you, dreaming. <laughs> we'll just see about that. What harebrained scheme are you planning now, Missy, huh? I just can't stand here and do nothing. I'm gonna go look for Sheridan, all right? Just call me on my cell phone if you hear anything. Of course. Just gotta find her before whoever's after her does. So, Bethy, what's your plan, huh? Because at this point, precious! Stands a better shot at Landon Louise than you do. I don't have time to talk about it. I've got to find Charlie before she finds Sheridan. Oh, please, please, merciful angels, please deliver Sheridan from my wicked daughter and her crackpot friend. Oh, while you're at it, please send me a man too, huh? I may be crippled and hard of hearing and incontinent. <laughs> But I'm still a treasure, and I ain't dead yet, right? <laughs> oh, Antonio, Hank, that was quick. Come on in, boys. Actually, we uh, we can't. We're looking for Sheridan. Yeah, Luis thought she might be here. Have you seen her? 
Oh, you know, your brother was just hoping the same thing, but no, honey, he was just here, and, and we haven't seen or heard from Sheridan. <sighs> Damn it. I know, honey, I'm just as worried about her as you are. But no, Louise just left here to look for her, and Beth, Beth just followed him. <laughs> just hope we find her before it's too late. Though we said our last goodbye, left me shattered on one side, do you have any tears? My heart would never mend All the king's horses and all his men Another drink, Mr. Crane? I've met her before. I've never seen her like this. You've got it bad, Mr. Crane. Excuse me? Mm. I've seen that look before. You're a man in deep, uh, love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what, my friend? I'm not really the monogamous type. Yeah, well, uh, with all due respect, uh, sir, I haven't been bartending for as long as I have and not learned to recognize the symptoms. Think what you want, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to know the truth. You're a man head over heels in love with that young lady. Here we are walking on cloud nine. In heaven where I'm yours and you're mine. We really have left this behind. Oh, I never want. How can you even consider not allowing her to pursue career music? Music almost destroyed my life. No, Eve, you almost destroyed your life. You allowed yourself to be sucked into the fast lane with a fast crowd. You got addicted to booze and party drugs and sex and Julian Crane. Music had nothing to do with it. You did it all on your own. You could have said no to drugs. You could have said no when refused to share Julian Crane's bed, but you didn't. You became a drug addict and a slut. Well, Whitney is not going to go down that same slippery slope. This is something about me. Way that is soft, it speaks my name. He tries to hide. Some more stardust? Oh, no, I do, baby. Mm -hmm. oh. No! Oh, no! No! No, Whitney is not going to follow in my footsteps. I'm not going to let her.
Dr. Russell. Mom! What are you doing? You stop it! Mom, please, just keep your voice down, okay? You're embarrassing me. Oh, I'm embarrassing you? Well, you should be embarrassed up here on this stage making a spectacle out of yourself. I was just singing, Mom. How could you do this, Whitney? Did I raise my daughter to, to steal out at night and go to nightclubs and degrade herself and her family? I wasn't degrading myself, Mom, and I didn't disrespect you or Daddy. I just wanted to sing, and the opportunity presented itself. How long have you been doing this? No, don't you lie to me. This is my first time, Mom. Oh, I don't believe you. Well, it's true. I've never done anything like this before. And even if I did, I don't see what's so wrong about singing in public. Because it is tacky and tawdry. I have told you that a million times. Why are you freaking out like I am it? not freaking out. Judging by the way everyone's staring at you, I think you are. I don't care what these lowlifes think. I'm not going to let you waste your life like this. With all due respect, Dr. Russell, she was just singing the song I wrote for her. She's not up here stripping for money. Well, she might as well be. Mom! You're just prostituting yourself in front of an audience. Mom, what is wrong with you? Why are you acting like this, Mom? Go ahead, Eve. Tell her. I dare you. Charlie? Charlie, it's me, Beth. Um... I just, I want to make sure that you're okay with the change of plans. Oh, damn it. I've got to find that nut job before she does something to Sheridan. Lisa will never forgive me if, if something happens to her and I find out that I'm responsible. So, you're, uh, Sheridan Crane? Yes. Well, before I was married. I'm sorry, what's your name again? I didn't say. You seem to have me at a disadvantage. You know who I am, but I don't know who you are. That's right. You don't. It doesn't matter. I'm basically just a big, ugly nothing. I'm rich and beautiful and blonde like the almighty Sheridan Crane. I certainly don't see myself as the way you describe me. I'd like to be beautiful and rich and have anybody you want at your beck and call. You know, I don't know what you read in the papers, but that's not the way that I am. Liar! You ruined my best friend's life! Who are you talking about? I haven't ruined anyone's life, at least not that I know of. You blondes have an excuse for everything. Excuse? What are you talking about? Don't hurt Sheridan. Don't hurt Sheridan. No, no, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do what I set out to do from the start! What are you talking about? What are you planning to do? Why are you looking at me like that? Sheridan! Sheridan, you here? You are my passion for life. Louise, help! I'm over here! Sheridan, I'm coming! <laughs> Louise! Louise! Sheridan! Oh, no. Charlie's gonna ruin everything. Louise! Sheridan, hold on! Louise, hurry! Sheridan! God, you found me and died. Why are you screaming? There was just this woman, this strange woman, and she, she was just she was talking to me, and she just got angrier and angrier, and she was saying horrible things about me, how I had destroyed her best friend's life, but then she came at me with this letter opener like she was going to stab me with it. Was the same woman from the hospital? I don't know. I, I didn't recognize her, and I certainly don't know who the friend was that she was talking about. If you had gotten to me when you did. It's okay. You're safe now, okay? Safe. You're being hurt by some lunatic. I'm sorry. I, I know it was foolish for me to leave the estate alone. Why did you? I just... 
I was so afraid of having more nightmares about those clowns chasing me and stealing my baby. Antonio told me. Antonio. That's the other thing. I was about to tell him about us tonight. At the last second, I just, I couldn't. You know, the guilt and the stress, it just got to me, and I just needed to get some air. I know, you're at your limit, sure, and you gotta be more careful. Right, Antonio was worried sick about you. He called me and Hank at headquarters. He said that you'd left. Oh, we are looking all over for you. I'm sorry. Okay. I did point down so that you're safe. And I don't know what I would have done if something happened to you. But look, you don't have to worry about this lunatic, whoever she is, is trying to hurt you, okay? I'll stop her. Man, Louise got in my way, but I'll get shared next time. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie, but there won't be a next time. Sorry to rush off, Mrs. Wallace, but we have to keep looking for Sheridan. Well, good luck finding her, boys. You know, Antonio, it would be such a crime if anything happened to such a beautiful, wonderful woman like Sheridan, especially now that she's going to have a baby. Oh, no, if anyone tries to touch a hair on my wife's head, I promise you I'll track them down and I'll kill them with my bare hands. Oh, and with those big hands, honey, they wouldn't last a minute. You have big, strong hands too, Hank. Thanks. Uh, let us know if you hear from her, okay? Yes, sure will. <laughs> it looks like my daughter's gonna get it going and coming if anything happens to Sheridan. <laughs> Wait a minute. I want to be there if it happens. <laughs> Feet don't fail me now. <laughs> I owe silver and away. <laughs> This is working out better than I imagined it would. Faith is making a complete fool of herself without any help from me. What is up with Eve? I mean, I've never heard her rant and rave like that. It's like, like she's never heard anyone sing before. I taste your kiss at moments like this. Keep looking like that. Uh, um, like what, my pet? Well, like you've seen a ghost. What? Julian, what is going on? Who are you thinking about? I just don't get what you're so upset about, Mom. I'm upset about this club. It's it's sordid and it's unseemly. You've got to be kidding, Dr. Russell. Th this is no dive. No matter what the name, this has always been a respectable jazz club. A place where singers come to hone their skills before heading off to Boston or New York. No, it's, it's a respectable club on the surface. It's even classy, but the Blue Note has been nothing but a dive for hookers and drug addicts. That is all it has ever been. Um, I couldn't help but uh, overhear your assessment of this place, and um, I can assure you the uh, Harmony Blue Note is no dive. Okay, it's actually owned and operated by Crane Industries. Now, I'm told that some 20 years ago, the original Blue Note Jazz Club in Boston became seedy and run down. And uh, Crane Industries bought the name, okay, and some of the original fixtures from the place and uh, remodeled the Harmony Jazz Club into the new and improved Blue Note. I can assure you, this is no den of iniquity, Dr. Russell. The old one in Boston was. Well, that's putting it mildly. How would you know, Mom? I mean, it's not like you ever set foot in the old blue note, have you? Well, Mom, have you ever been to the old blue note in Boston? Whitney, I'm, I'm sure that your mother knew of the old Blue Note by reputation only. It was years ago, it was very well known as uh, 
<laughs> Quite the dive. Uh, just as the Stork Club in New York was known as the mecca for the rich and famous. Yes, Julian's right. Uh, the Blue Note had a very unsavory reputation. So, Dad, why would you buy the name and recreate the old Blue Note here in Harmony if uh, it was such an infamous dump? Yes, I'd like to know the answer to that myself. Well, the original Blue Note's reputation was one of decadent delights, but it was truly a world unto itself where lovers met, and dreams were spun as the champagne flowed, and there was the music from one particular singer who stood out from all the rest. She had this most exquisite voice, and this passion that she sung with would reduce a grown man to tears, leave him in her thrall for the rest of his life. So when I, uh, purchased the Harmony Jazz Club, I decided to capitalize on the old Blue Note's uh, reputation, a mystique, if you will, and recreate it here. There's more to it than that, Julian. I mean, the waiter says that you are here all the time, and that you sit at a special table with special champagne and two glasses, always waiting. And uh, that doesn't sound like a shrewd businessman to me. That sounds more like a man with a great sentimental attachment to a place. The question is why? What is it about the blue note that you love so much? What do you mean there won't be a next time? We gotta finish what we started. We gotta kill Sheridan Crane. I told you that there's been a change in plans. And it makes me angry that you went back on your promise to leave Sheridan alone. I didn't mean to. Look, I, I was on my way home after leaving your place, and I ran into her, and she made me lose control. How? Everything you told me about Sheridan is true. She's blonde and beautiful, and she couldn't care less about people like us. She acted as if she didn't even know who you were. You told her my name? No, 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 I wouldn't be that stupid. No, I just, I told her that she ruined my best friend's life, and she didn't know who I was talking about. Maybe she might have been lying. Okay, it, it, it doesn't matter, okay? I've got a new plan. All right, I want you to go home, and you just wait for my call, okay? No, I, I think we should go back to our original plan and just kill the bitch. Like, come on, this was your dream, remember? You stole the drug from the hospital just so you could do the deed. Yes, and what I planned couldn't be traced back to me, but this could have been traced back to you. And it wouldn't be long before I was fingered, too. So what? I got us a plan to escape, leave town, remember? No. I like it here in Harmony, okay? All my friends are here. My mother can't live forever. I, I, I don't want to be forced to leave town because of Sheridan's murder. Now just go home and I'll be in touch soon. I still think we should stick it to Sheridan right now. No, Charlie. Now go home. I'll see you later. Okay. Never could refuse a pretty lady. Okay, whatever. Just go. Can I have my letter opener back? <sighs> All right. But you only use it for mail. I promise. Anything for you, babe. Anything at all. <laughs> now, which way did this woman who threatened you run off to? All right, I'm gonna find her and get to the bottom of what's going on here. The woman who harassed you just now could be the same person who's trying to kill you. All right, now you just tell me which way she went. I'm gonna stop her before she strikes again, okay? No, Louise, please don't leave me. I'm just I'm afraid to be alone right now. Okay, I'm not gonna leave you, all right? I promise. Thank you. But Sheridan, this can't go on, right? I love you. You are my life. You're the woman that I want to be with. I know that maybe you're carrying his mind. I cannot let the woman that I love live in this kind of fear. What can you do? I can hunt down whoever it is that's out to get you, and I can kill him. You hear me out there? You hear me? I'm gonna hunt you down and kill you. It's Louise. It sounds like he means business. Oh, little Miss Bloodlust Beth has done it now. Luis is gonna get her and Charlie, too! <laughs> okay, get out!
out of here, Charlie. No one can see us together, especially not Louise. Answer Becky's question, Pop. I mean, why do you come here all the time? And what, what is it with this place that means so much to you? Oh, well, I've always been a music aficionado. Both you and Becky know that. It's one of the reasons I created the Crane Recording Studio, so world-class music could be produced here in Harmony. Yeah, but I mean, even so, you've always been a fan of classical and opera, not jazz. Although I love a good libretto and a fine fugue, I'm also fond of jazz. And I'm proud to say that the Blue Note, once again, is providing some of the best jazz in this part of the country. And Whitney here, after gracing us with a marvelous impromptu performance, is a perfect example. Please, don't encourage her. Mr. Crane is just telling the truth. For one. Thank you, Mr. Crane. Whitney is one of the best singers I have ever heard. Too good to just sit around and ignore her God-given talent. She needs to pursue her music. Go at it with passion. That's what I really want to do, Mom. Have you not heard a single word that I have said? Only singing. Don't argue with me, Whitney. No daughter of mine is going to throw her life away singing at clubs or anywhere else for that matter. You're coming home with me right now. Everyone else may buy your act. But I don't. There's something else going on here, and I want to know what it is. No, Mom! I am not coming home with you. What? You heard me. I am not leaving the blue note, and I am not leaving Chad. It's a good thing TC isn't here to see this. Why? See, it's Liz. I am so sorry to call you so late, but you really should get down to the Blue Note Club right away. Something is happening. Something that could change everything. I'm going to decide what my dream really is, and everyone else can go straight to hell. Antonio, did they find her? Oh, the police have a woman trapped in the alley. Oh, no. Miss Louise, 